her eyelashes. Okay. <laughs> about that Where am I supposed to look? Uh, right there. Okay. I was just making sure because I was like, <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're like, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> so fucking banging. It does. You look like a bombshell girl. Who did that? I don't know. <laughs> Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm here with a review for you on the Coco Brown Sunless Tanner and this is a one hour tan mousse. Now Coco Brown actually contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing this on my channel and of course I said yes because I'm always in the market for a new self tanner. I get very tired of them. There are things that I don't like about certain self tanners. So once I try one, if I don't like it, I want to get rid of it and try a new one. So the way that they say that you're supposed to, sorry, I'm not ready. <laughs> So with me today, this is my friend Karen. Say hello. Hello. Hello, Karen. The reason I wanted to involve Karen in this video is because she has very fair skin and I have kind of tannish skin and so tanners would be different on her than they are on me. And so I wanted her to try this out and that way um, everybody can see how this would work on them. They can see how it would work on fair skin and tan skin. So um, we've both used it and um, she's gonna tell us what she likes about it. She's, have you ever used a self-tanner before? The, today was my first time. First time ever. Yeah. So um, she wasn't really sure what to expect. She came over to my house very scared and needed a little bit of guidance. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so first time trying a self-tanner. Yes. Um, how did you feel about applying it? It was pretty easy to apply. Um, using the, the mitt, um, it made it really easy. The foam was really creamy and it spread around really easily even if there's not a whole lot of product. It was pretty easy to make it really even and it felt pretty good. Yeah. Does it feel sticky at all? When it's drying it does. Like if you put your arms down by your side it feels a little sticky. Mm -hmm. But otherwise it really didn't. How do you feel about smell? It smelled chemically but it wasn't too off-putting. Word. For yes. me that's like a make it or break it thing with self tanners is if it smells too strong the DHA is the chemical in self tanners that will stink it's a, like a plant protein and for being natural it smells really terrible if they're <laughs> if they don't put something in it to help control that smell so um personally i love the way that this smells when you're applying it um karen thinks it smells a little chemically i don't mind it it's kind of um almost like a tropically perfumish smell when you're applying it and um, you'll probably notice as it develops it the smell will get a little bit stronger but then mm -hmm. once you shower it, it completely showers it off so um, that's one thing that I personally like about this is the smell and the way that you use this it's not just like apply it and then leave it on until it's time to shower next time the way that you apply this is this is what scared Karen the most I think <laughs> <laughs> you apply it and when you put it on um, I'll actually insert a little clip of me applying it um, as well so you can see that but when you put it on it goes on extremely brown like you're looking at yourself in the mirror going oh my god yep. what did I just do <laughs> I'm screwed for the next couple of days when you put it on it's really brown but then once you get in the shower after an hour to two hours and then when you shower it actually washes a lot of it off and it, it actually comes out I think pretty even what do you think yeah it really did even on spots like on my arms where it was a little streaky I thought yeah um after I showered it was really even and I actually really like it yeah I'm not as white anymore <laughs> <laughs> yes you're a tan goddess <laughs> okay oh fuck I'm hot it is so the way that they recommend using this is of course you shower first shave exfoliate and all that good stuff um just like with any other self tanner you want to make sure you exfoliate really well in your rough areas like hands and wrists um like collarbones knees elbows ankles things like that I use a sugar scrub to exfoliate but you can just exfoliate really well with a loofah like that's what I did. Like what Karen yeah. did. Um, so make sure you exfoliate really well and get your legs shaved and all that. And then if you are really, really dry, then you can always take like a lotion or a body butter and put it on your drier spots before you put this on. And that will help it not be so concentrated in those drier areas. Because if you don't do that, then you may have darker patches. But other than that, uh, it's really simple. It's, you know, you don't have to do anything different or crazy to make this work, even though it comes out really, really dark. So this is kind of revolutionary because it is called the one hour tan. Now there is another brand called Loving Tan and they have a two hour dark mousse and that's really, really dark as well. But this, it develops in, in an hour. And if you leave it on for two hours or three hours after applying it, then it's gonna be even more intense. So that you definitely have that option if you want a really, really dark tan. So um, I like that about this a lot. 
it's pretty dark, but then you shower and you're good to go. I mean, look at Karen. She's got a gorgeous, even glow. Super tan. Yeah, super tan. Definitely, definitely. That was awkward. <laughs> you sort of, what's that character on TV? Definitely. 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 Judge Walkner at four o'clock. <laughs> definitely. Definitely tan. I definitely <laughs> stink. Fuck. I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot to bring deodorant, so I'm not even going. Oh, do you want, want some? No, I'm good. You want not stinky? No. Okay. No, I don't smell you. Yeah. Do you have anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I look at you and you're like, <laughs> not awkward at all. <laughs> do you have anything that you would like to add about this? Um, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna probably be buying that. You're gonna buy it? Yeah. There you have it. Yes, girl. Yes. So, oh, one last thing is this is an Irish company and they are based out of Ireland. So if you were to go to their website to purchase it, you would have to pay international shipping if you are not in Ireland. Um, however, you can get it on Amazon and I think it's like $26. I'll make sure to link it below. Um, also, this is not a sponsored video. This is also, I'm not affiliated with Coco Brown in any way. Um, they just sent it to me to try and review on my channel. So if you guys decide you want to buy it with the link that I put below, I'm not going to get any kickback with it or anything like that. Um, but they will be really happy if you say that I sent you. Is that all? He's nice. He's nice. Very nice. <laughs> that was really quick. You're good at this. I'm good. You're a natural. Good. I felt like I was like going like this with my eyes locked. So I was like, yeah. But if it's not too much, then. Well, I'll edit out the weird parts. So okay. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. You the whole leave the world will know. <laughs> I should have taken a before of you so they can see how white you were. You could probably find something on my. Facebook or something. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. I don't care. Insert picture of Karen here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to close it. All right. I'm closing. Closing close. time. Close. Closing time. Turn ding, all ding, of the ding, lights ding, off yeah. in your... <laughs> all right, guys. That's going to do it for my review on the Coco Brown one hour tan dark tanning mousse if you guys like this video don't forget to click like and subscribe and if there's anything else you'd like to see me review go ahead and put that in the comments below and uh uh bye bye <laughs> <laughs> oh it's not tested on animals that's good that's nice solvent use can kill instantly do not inhale this <laughs> it's a bad idea yeah i mean <laughs> They have to put that on there because you know some fucking kids are going to be like, oh, let me just absorb this aerosol and die instantaneously. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Stay in school. You with the white